So, how's everyone doing today? It's your boy Fly Island Guy, and we're back for another uh, on air video. Um, we are back today in uh, beautiful Marsh Harbor, Abaco, uh, in the Bahamas. Um, and we're going to be doing another cargo run today. In fact, uh, we're going to be doing uh, the, la the final two legs of uh the level two mission that we're on right now um here here on 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 air so the first leg will be uh just an an inter-island uh short hop so we will be going from here uh, in marsh harbor to uh treasure treasure key um it's about a i don't know 15 20 minute flight maybe probably less than that um, and then from there we'll be going from Treasure Key uh, down to Bimini and we'll be dropping some more cargo down there so as you guys may know if you watched the the last video so um, I've been having a, having a hard time like really uh, steering the plane on the ground um, I think that there is an issue going on with my Extreme 3D Pro um, I mentioned before it's pretty old so uh, it's a chance that the z-axis is gone or, or going um, this issue only really, really seems to have started up probably uh, a couple weeks ago maybe now that I think about it so I've ordered a new stick uh, that should be coming sometime soon but in the meantime I'm just gonna turn on auto rudder and uh, that should help to kind of keep things a little stable for now until uh, the new stick arrives and that's all set up and we could try it out. All right, so let's hop into the cockpit. Let's get this bird fired up. Uh, we've already uh, started tracking the job. So now it's just time to get going. Okay, so we are in the cockpit now um today for this first leg um, i'm just going to be letting the co-pilot handle a lot of the uh communication pretty well basically all the communication and um we'll be just using the uh, fs2020 atc for this trip um when we do the bimini leg um i'm going to use a sim brief flight plan and uh and, and um, we'll go from there. Um, the I found the default ATC in FS2020 to be not as uh, or not as incompetent if you're going to like a real airport. Uh, and I've been doing some of the kind of small airfields um, in in uh, Florida. Then it, it started to kind of crap out a little bit. It would just be like. The airport's in front of you, and that's it. <laughs> like, won't do anything else. So, uh, for now, um, we, we'll use it for this trip. Um, and okay. we'll see how things go. All right. Um, avionics on. Nav on. Turn the engine mixture up a little bit. Let's get the Garmin going fuel on um what i will do um i checked sim brief um just to see what the approach is for uh the treasure key airport um and looks like they're giving us run runway three two so i'm gonna go ahead because it's such a short trip um <clears throat> what we'll do is when we get in the air and uh turn on the autopilot i think i'm just going to activate the approach right away and then we'll just uh fly the approach basically into into treasure key so i'll uh, do runway uh let's hit this guy oops hit this guy and do runway a32 enter and Transition, I believe, is the Zakti transition. 
enter. Hopefully, uh, we won't have to change it once um, once we get near, but we'll see what happens. In fact, I'll just activate it now. I should change our flight plan to head towards uh, Zapti, I believe. Uh, let's see what it's doing. This guy. Yeah. So we're basically just going to take off and we're going to end up just flying this approach straight in. So as I said, it's a really short flight. Um, so we'll just go ahead, basically take off and just fly the approach right away. All right. Let's get the. Uh, let's get this started. Going to turn the beacon and the strobe. Start engine one. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut Sierra down the engines. Pushback. Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra pushback request accepted. Okay. Uh, start the other engine. Pilot requested pushback for some reason. Um, I'm just gonna shut off some of the uh, I'm just gonna shut off some of these windows that I have open right now. I think uh, it's causing a bit of a performance issue. Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra requesting the end of pushback. Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra request to end pushback received. Ground Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra with Alpha request taxi for takeoff departure to the west. Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra taxi to and hold short of runway 27 using taxiway. Contact tower on 118 decimal 6 when ready. All Taxiing right. hold short runway 27 via taxiway Beachcraft X-Ray Golf Sierra. So we're going to do the runway 27 departure. Uh, da -da -da. Okay. Just dropping a notch of flat. Yeah, so as I said, it's the... Yeah, the steering has been a mess on this plane, so um, I'm just going to, yeah, I just turned on auto rudder. That seems to kind of fix the issue, um, but yeah, I was seeing like the plane was kind of veering off to the right or left, even in taxiing, so yeah, I just need to fix that. And I'm hoping that getting a new stick will fix that issue. But from the test that I've done, ooh, that was a wide turn. <laughs> from the, the test that I've done, that seems to um, smooth things out a little bit. Um, at least to the point where taken off and landing isn't so dangerous so um, I'll stick with that for now in fact I think that I actually turned it off uh, just as a test yesterday so let me just uh, Tower Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra ready at runway 27 let me just check that I have it actually turned back on let that go back Assistance. Yeah, I turned it off. Okay. So I'm just going to switch it on for now, just to make sure I uh, don't have any issues of taking off and landing. Alright, we got our takeoff clearance. 
Cleared for takeoff runway 27 Beechcraft X-Ray Golf Sierra. get lined up. Uh, I'm just going to double check. Just going to double check uh, a few things. It's kind of in a rush to get going and uh, I forgot to set my uh, autopilot. Let's see what they gave us. Uh, Yeah, we actually didn't, I forgot to tune for clearance, um, but they've already, yeah, they, they already kind of gave us clearance, I guess, so um, I'm just going to throw in uh, 2,000 feet into the uh, flight director for now, and yeah, we'll do 2,000 feet. And it'll set our CDI source to GPS. And cool. Heading as well. Let's bug that. And we'll turn on heading hold mode. Okay. We're all set. Landing lights on. And we're off. So as you can see with the auto rudder, it kind of gives us a little stability and we can kind of keep a, a straighter track down the runway. Still doing a little bit of correction. Yes. Airborne time log. It's a little jerky when it took off just now, but I could deal with that. This is much better than what was happening before. switch off the autopilot so I turn it on and we'll do the nav hold flight change as well actually I don't know why we're using the uh, I don't know why we're using the, the air traffic control right now you don't need it, to be honest, but... Got to pull my gear up as well. Let's switch these guys on. Man, there's so much that I forgot to do. pretty low we're only doing 2,000 feet right now um, in the event that we're told to do something else then I'll switch to that but for now we're just gonna do 2,000 feet So I hope everyone is doing uh, well today. Um, I know there's been a lot going on uh, in the news in terms of what's like happening in the states and all that. 
Um, all I can say is with everything that's going on right now, out there. Okay, that's frequency change. Um, with everything that's going on out there, like... saying uh, regardless of of what's been going on um, everybody just really try and stay safe out there um, the world has become a bit of a crazy place right now and uh, you just gotta stay prayed up basically that's, that's the only thing I can really say but um, yeah, just be safe that's, that's, that's the moral of the story Alright, so pretty much starting our um, our turn uh, almost heading towards final at Treasure Key. So let me um, just pull up Navigraph just to show you uh, what we're going to be dealing with. So we're doing the runway 32 approach into Treasure Key. Pretty much what we're doing right now is uh, we're heading towards the Zucky Bay point here. And we will make the turn to Pilmi, make a left turn to Pilmi. And then we'll turn on to 321 and, and we'll just be heading straight to the, the runway. Um, a lot of these airports are very just like kind of small airstrips out here in the, the family islands. Um, these aren't highly populated areas as, as we discussed before when talking about um, the Bahamas. So um, the only two really big airports in Bahamas is... Uh, Linden Pindling uh, in Nassau and uh, the Freeport Grand Bahama Airport. All the other ones are just kind of little small airstrips. Which makes sense, you know? Alright. So, I'm going to disobey the rules a little bit and we're just going to stay where we are. And I haven't even adjusted my altimeter and all that. Honestly, we don't need to do any of that. Um, we should, but I'm not going to. But I will set my altimeter for 1,700 feet. Because once we have to pull me, that's what we'll need to, we'll need to descend down to 17. As you can see, the flight is almost done already. Uh, this, this is going to be a really quick turnaround. So that's why I just I made this in the next leg of the, or the next job into just one video. So it's super short.
right, shoot, we should be making our turn onto final. Uh, any second now? Here we go. All right, so I'm going to start my um, descent down to 1700. Mike Yankee, Alpha Tango, Traffic Beach Craft, November 6549er, X-ray 11 miles southeast, 2000 feet inbound to land, runway 32. And we're going to get all uh, prepared for landing, so... Dropped my first notch of flaps, and I'm going to go gear down. Airport straight ahead of us. And I'm going to arm uh, the approach as well. Is kicked in. And once again, there's a decent like, runway here at this airport, and we're in a tiny plane, so you don't have to worry too, too much about approach speed or using up too much runway, anything like that. All we have to focus on is making sure it's a smooth landing, which I haven't quite gotten the hang of as of yet. I was looking at the, just looking at some pictures on Google um, of this airport and the approach, and uh, this is what what we're seeing here is is pretty much an accurate representation of of what it's like flying into here. It's not much uh, houses or buildings around. It's just a lot of trees, and, and that's mainly it. One five zero and seven knots. All right. So for some reason, once again, this runway doesn't have any pappies on it, or this this end of the runway doesn't have pappies on it. The other end does. Um, but I think I've gotten pretty decent now of, of like eyeballing the landings. And as I say once again, small plane, long runway. It's not really that huge an issue if you land long or whatever. So. I'm just gonna switch off the autopilot, just hand fly it in. Okay.
down to the runway. Come on. Landing time logged. All right, little bounce, but that's cool. All right. We're just going to turn around, head back towards the terminal. I'm having a hell of a time turning this plane. Heading all off the runway. <laughs> okay. So we are here now. Um, treasure key now um, as I mentioned before in the last video as well uh, Abaco got nailed really hard um, devastated by Hurricane Dorian and in fact I think this airport was also damaged pretty badly as well um, so I'm not too sure what the state of this airport is now um, it should be open as well, but yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't a. It was really, really bad. This airport and Marsh Harbor as well. All right, just gonna go ahead and park here. Okay, we will put on the parker brake. Turn off the landing lights and I'll turn off all the lights actually and cut the engines. Engine off time logged. Flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. All right, so landed safely. First leg done. If we look at uh, on air, we had like a little bit of a reputation bump because um, this is a really short flight, only 22 nautical miles. We've got the comfort bonus, safety bonus, and aircraft handling bonus. So those are all good. Um, good job, Felix. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to hit OK on this. Um, so this leg of the trip is done. So we're just gonna click back and just wanna see the jobs. I'm, oof. Can't wait till this job is done. <laughs> it's, I just feel like we're just going more and more in the red, um, but yeah. We look at our job now um, so this is the the level 2 mission that I'm, I'm working on we literally just have this last leg to go uh, which is going from uh, treasure key over to uh, Bimini so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a quick break um, and I'm just going to I'm gonna fly this one uh, doing my own navigation I'm not going to use um, the ATC so I'm just going to go prepare a flight plan real quick and I'll come back and uh, when we come back we'll be getting ready to take off all right peace all loaded up ready to go um, cargo has been loaded on and um, flight plans in so as I mentioned before we'll be heading over to to uh, Bimini that's our last stop uh, on this mission um, basically going to be heading west um, turning uh, southwest uh, at Grand Bahama International Airport when we fly over it 
and we'll be heading down to Bimini. As I said, this will be our last job uh, for this for this mission, so I'm really excited to get it done. And then after this, I'll be taking the plane back to Eleuthera to, to drop it off, because um, that's where we rented it from. And then it'll be the start of a new job, new adventures. Um, I think I will head over to uh, Florida again, and then might just do some a little bit of traveling through the states or, or through Florida again. See what else. See what other jobs we get, and um, go from there. But let's get this flight started. Uh, we are ready to go. Uh, we will go ahead and crank over engine. Actually, peaking the strobes on first. I gotta remember to do that so it don't get dinged. And crank over the engine one. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. Crank over engine two. All right, turn the pizza heat on just to get rid of the air message. Flaps down, and I feel like that's it. You can turn the taxi lights on as well. Uh, for this trip, we'll be heading up to 8,000 feet. So I'm just going to plug that in now. And let's go ahead and let's adjust the altimeter. We did not do that last time, uh, but it is a must when you fly. And I was just being lazy, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, I have the flight plan here in Simbrief. Uh, we'll be departing Treasure Key, Runway 32. And we've been assigned uh, Runway 28 in Bimini. Uh, if we get on to weather, all oh, right, it's probably not going to have, yeah, it's not going to have the, uh, weather data. So let's just use the weather data for Grand Bahama since that's nearby. Um, that'll give us altimeter three zero zero zero. All right, cool. All right, definitely good to go now. Gonna take off the parking brake and let us head towards the runway. see that <laughs> I don't know why this thing has a very shallow turn radius but it does okay all right nothing's coming just gonna make the turn And pause here real quick. Turn our flight direct on. Uh, heading is three, two, one. Just turn these guys on. All right, heading three. Actually, we're pointing directly down that now. Just hit that. Okay. All right. 
and test. Okay. just hit the heading select all right good to go let's go landing lights on time log. NASA approach Beechcraft November 6549er X-ray is type Beechcraft B-58 one miles northwest of Mike Yankee Alpha Tango. Request flight following. Beechcraft November 6549er X-ray NASA approach. Squawk 0043. Squawk 0043 Beechcraft 49er X-ray. Beechcraft 49er X-ray radar contact two miles northwest of Mike Yankee Alpha Tango 1100 feet. All right, I forgot to turn the Copy Beechcraft for Niner X-ray. AI control manage radio comms off. All right, we should be good to go now. All right, so Our flight time today um, is about 56 minutes to uh, to Bimini. So what I'll do is uh, when we get up and and settled, um, I will take a break and I will come back when we're getting ready to land, as as usual. Uh, but. I'm just really excited to have this mission finished. Um, and I'm just excited for what's next to come. Like, it's really... It's just really awesome to, to fly around and just see stuff that I don't normally see. Alright, there we go, sorry. Just pressing a whole bunch of buttons just now. <laughs> Alright, just wanted to get a screenshot real quick real quick. So the good thing is that uh, today we've just had a good good flying day, weather hasn't it hasn't been too bad. 
Uh, broken clouds, lots of sun, which is good. So we're about to hit 8,000 now and level off. And once we do that, I'll pull the, uh, the uh, props, prop controls back a little bit. So the engines aren't working as hard and I will close the cow flaps as well since we don't need them in cruise. glad that um, this auto rudder function works. Um, so I was really, I was really getting frustrated by what was going on with the with the joystick. Because um, I'm trying to remain consistent with putting out content on the channel right now and. I just feel like it's been sort of one little thing after the other that's been stopping me, so um, I think one of the issues first was that my, my mouse started going, um, so I replaced that, I actually have a new mouse and keyboard now, then my, um, then my joystick decides to crap out, and the real thing that I'm, I'm waiting for right now is to get a new video card. I really want to get the RTX 3080. I'm low-key even considering getting the 3090, but um, it's not that I can buy the 3090, I just don't want to spend like $2,000 on the video card. So I wish there was something in between that was coming out. but. waiting for the 3080 but they're nowhere to be found right now except for eBay being sold by scalpers that are selling them for like double the MS double the MSRP or, or higher I'm, I'm not paying that much for, for a video card so I'll patiently wait I'll play the waiting game um, 1660 Ti is doing all right right now it's not as powerful as it needed to be, but you know, it's getting the job done in a pinch. So we shall see. See it off. Still a little jealous of those people who I see uh, rocking those uh, 3080 cards <laughs> as soon as they came out. But you know, I'll get it eventually. It's not a big deal. All right, so now that we're in cruise, I want to yeah. Center Beechcraft November 6549er X ray 8100 feet. Beechcraft November 6549er X ray NASA Center continue to zoom in Foxtrot. Pause is planned. Altimeter 3, 0.08. Oh, I need to find a way to turn my radio off because I don't, I don't want to be using ATC. I don't know, whatever, we'll do it there. So, um, 
let me take a quick look at Navigraph. Um, let's see what we have in terms of an approach for runway 28 at uh, Bimini. Firstly, uh, hmm. let's see. Interesting. Can't even get the charts for it. Should be able to. Yeah, there's no, uh, for some reason there's no, I guess no charts available for, for Vimy. At least I'm not seeing anything here right now. So maybe I need the ATC after all. Huh? <laughs> yeah, anyway, so regardless, we'll see what happens. We'll get the plane down one way or another. I will take a break, and when we come back, uh, we'll be starting our descent into Bimini. All right, so stay tuned in, and I'll be back. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, we are descending into Bimini now, and unfortunately, since... Um, since this South Bimini Airport doesn't actually have any kind of registered approach, uh, the ATC pretty much just left me hanging. <laughs> and um, Navigraf has nothing as well. So I'm basically flying in blind right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is pretty much... I waited a little late to descend. So I'm basically just going to uh, descend down to about well right now 1700 feet and I'm just going to try and like find the airport visually and then do an approach that way at this point I'm most likely going to fly over it so I'm going to have to kind of do some maneuvering around to, to try and actually find the airport but this is the best that, that we can really do at this point because um, the airport is literally right in front of me. So it's not a huge deal. I was I was kind of just waiting for ATC to vector me in, but um, they didn't do that. Which is, I guess, because there's no real registered approach, it's one of the drawbacks of, of using ATC in the game. Um... So we're just going to have to, to wing it and find the airport on our own. So it should be, according to the GPS, the airport should be somewhere on our left. And we're going to be doing the runway 28 landing. So that means I'll probably have to circle around, come back, and then land. So let's see if you could see it out the window. Uh, not seeing anything so far, but it should be coming up on the left here somewhere. To a better position. Yeah. So I have a feeling somewhere, somewhere around here. Up, oh, that's the airport right there. Okay. All right, cool. So 
what we'll do is we will uh, once we drop down to altitude I'll drop the flaps and gear and then we're just gonna fly this in uh, we'll circle around and fly this visually I'm really gonna have to start researching some of these airports before I choose these jobs. Um, because I could do this in a little small plane, but I mean, if this was, let's say, maybe the citation or something bigger, this, this may cause an issue. Okay. So yeah, that's the airport that we're landing at right there. And I think I will... Okay. I don't know where we're turning to. to 1700 gonna lower the landing gear and the flaps I just want to keep an eye on where the airport is right now. And we're just going to fly away from it just, just for a little bit. Maybe about a minute or two just to kind of give ourselves some time to, to turn back. Now we'll take a quick look at Navigraph here. Just to see if we're landing on runway 32. Uh, all right, there's no charts whatsoever, so I don't even know if we were supposed to be parking anything. So we'll see what happens. So we can keep our speed up really. And let's see. Still see quite a ways up. Alright, I'm gonna try and make that turn now and uh, let's see how this turns out. Let's go to like two four zero. 
this should give us plenty of room to uh, kind of get ourselves lined up <clears throat> and get down safely. Should be in a good position, hopefully. <laughs> I'm really just guessing. And I'm gonna switch off the autopilot and just see how this goes. think there'd be some kind of approach like uh, some kind of registered approach I don't know. all right so looking like we're all lined up now Week one five zero and five knots Landing time log. All right, welcome to South Bimini, folks. I'm not too sure what's going on with the color of the grass. Uh, that's kind of weird. up for some reason at every airport there's like a random vehicle that's driving around marshalling me in.
cool. Amen. All right. That landing turned out to be a lot safer than I thought it was going to be. All right. So we are here. Lights are coming off. And engines off. Engine off time logged. Flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. All right, looks like I gained a level in on air, which is awesome. All right. So up to level three now, which is good. Um, got the usual bonuses. Okay. And I'm going to go to company dashboard. Awesome. So I got some more cash. Um, company credit. I'm just, you know, under, under five, just under $400 uh, in the hole now. And let's see. All right. Not sure why this job is still marked as pending right now. Um, we've done all the legs. Just interesting. Hmm. It's also marked it as complete, I think. Hmm. Yeah, not too sure what's going on there. It says I have three completed jobs and one pending. Oh, okay. Sorry, it's a level three mission now. Looks like uh, NASA to North Luthra to Rock Sound, and then to a few airports out here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty. Cool. So, yeah, everything's looking good. Finally completed the uh, level two mission. So, um, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I need to take this plane back over to Roxanne Luther now. But, Thank you guys very, very much uh, for for watching today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the flight. And thank you for, for bearing with me as I <laughs> as I deal with all of my, my little issues when it comes to uh, moving the plane around and, and trying not to crash and flying into weird airports and all that kind of stuff. So this is all this is all the part of the fun of doing on air. Um, it's definitely kind of opened up a whole new world of interest for me as far as FS2020 is concerned. And I'm, I'm just looking forward to, to doing more and getting more done. I still have a long ways to go. I want to build up enough money to at least start rent to at least uh, buy me an aircraft. Um, so every time you level up, you get more points or more uh, skill points. So, and then I'm going to be like sending skill points to, I'm going to be sending some skill points over to uh, like the banking side of things. Uh, see if I can get a loan to buy to buy a plane because this renting is just it's getting kind of old now. So, 
we'll see how that goes but anyway thanks for checking in rate comment subscribe and uh hope you guys have a great day great night whatever time it is that you're watching and i will catch you on the next flight all right peace